and I want to shoot this quick video uh, to go over some uh, some very basic fundamentals about the theme and some settings that you have to configure uh, before you start using it. Um, and if you don't configure them, then the theme won't work good for you. Okay, so it's really important that you listen up. It's going to be a very short video, but if you follow it, I promise you that everything will be uh, will work okay. So. First things first is you want to, after you uh, uploaded the theme, you want to go to the HTML of the theme, okay? First of all, you want to go to the HTML of the theme and you want to scroll down to templates and then you want to get to product.liquid, okay? And then now when you're in product.liquid, you want to scroll down until you see this link here, which says the store URL, checkout st uh, step, uh, contact information. So this you want to change to your store URL, okay? Without the www, only up to the .com. So in my case, this is my store URL. So I'm just gonna paste it like that, and I'm going to save that, okay? That's the first thing. Second thing, if you have uh, the app Hurify and Pixel Perfect, or one of them, you wanna listen because you're gonna have to change um, uh, some things here or make sure that it is configured like that. So first of all in her five You'll want to change the countdown timer mm -hmm. It's loading very fast So who if I want to change the countdown time to style three, okay um, Let's see if there's another one here but no, actually, style three, uh, you want to change it to style three. And I, I, me personally, personally, I think it actually looks the best. It's the most basic. Um, I don't like style one, just like doesn't look professional to me. Style two um, as well, because it's like on the left, I like it in the middle. So style three actually looks the best in my opinion. And you're gonna need to set it to style three if you wanted to work with the theme. So you're gonna save that. Other than that, there's a lot of other settings here that um, that I want that I configure myself for her fine, but I'm not gonna go over that now. I'm gonna show it in the next uh, session, of the videos. So other than her, if I have to save that, you wanna go to Pixel Perfect. For those of you that are using it, for those of you that aren't using it, then you don't have to do this step. But it's a very, very simple step. You wanna go to Pixel Settings, and you wanna scroll down and enable Ajax, Ajax Cart. Okay, so if you scroll down, you see this Ajax card enable in your store, you want to click the on button. Now what that actually does is, for those of you who don't know what Ajax card is, is it's an option in Shopify that lets, that makes your cart not go directly to the cart. So like in our theme, when you click the add to cart, you're not directly directed to the cart, you're still in the same product page. So that's called Ajax card. Uh, as well, you know, sometimes when you add something to the cart and then like a side sidebar cart comes from the side and shows you what you have in the cart that's ajax as well any shopping cart that doesn't any store that doesn't take you directly to the shopping cart after you click the add cart is called an ajax cart so it's really important that you click the on button here and you want to save that of course and that's it for the settings okay other than that the theme should work okay but i'll go over some basic structure that i like to use myself for the theme that has never, uh, never um, gave me any troubles. So you want to go. We want to go to customize theme. So first of all, uh, just so you know, just to so understand uh, why the theme is so so good. Okay, and you 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 understand why uh, why it's it's really optimized for conversions. It's because a few things. First of all, it looks really professional in the way that it's designed. Um, the join the community, the register account, these things add a lot of social proof to the store. Okay, they add a lot of social proof. Other than that, you can scroll down, you have the credit card icons, you have a call to action, okay, you have reviews that you can change. Okay, you have a lot of things here that you can really customize and things that really add to the social proof. So I'm gonna actually go one by one and show you exactly what I do in every step, okay? So um, logo, you wanna change the logo. Okay, of course, to the logo that, um, that, that is your store. The favicon, you don't change here. You change in the HTML, which I'll go over in a second. Other than that, just the colors, 
you can just change the colors here to whatever suits you. Okay, I'm not, not really need to go over every single one of these uh, settings, but it just changes the overall color of the store. Then you are down to header. Now header, you have this here. This you can change in, in uh, uh, this area. You can put whatever you want here. You can change that. Here it's really, really important that you change the join the community link because okay, this, uh, for me, it links to the register. Okay, for you, it can link to whatever. You can write a coupon code here and then uh, link them to a coupon page. Uh, you can uh, link here to a certain um, collection or whatever you want. For me, it's join the community. I can change that if I want. And the link is the register link. Okay, if you want to do the same as me, you can just copy the register link, okay, like this, copy link address and paste it here. This, not important, not important, cool. Footer. So footer, you have a few options here as well. Um, so you have social media. If you want to add Facebook, uh, Twitter, whatever you want, you can add that here and use, uh, uh, use the links to your pages. Navigation, you can add that here. You can uh, play with this to um, add like menu items. That's, of course, depending on your navigation. For me, it's only the footer menu. But of course, I can decide what menu I want to put here. Then you want to change this about section. You want to change it. This is this one. You want to change that to your actual email. Okay, really important that you notice these things. Um, unless it's, um, if you don't, it's not going to look good where your some of your emails are in your actual store. So it's really important that you change that. Um, that's it for footer. Other than that, you have other cool things here that I personally don't use. Okay, I personally don't use, I haven't experimented with them, but you can add images of your customers wearing your shirts, wearing your products, and it's really, really, really cool. Um, videos, same thing. You can use videos as well in your footer. So it'll basically add a video to all of the pages. Testimonials, this is really cool. This is this one. You can edit that, add more, put logos. Okay, so you can use that as well. Of course, you can keep it like it is, or you can change the testimonials to be like um, uh, like that uh, that's related to your actual products. Uh, image gallery, yeah, image gallery, same thing. You can add images of your customers wearing your merchandise. Call to action, this is this one. Okay, you can change that and decide how, um, how that looks. Okay, if you want to add a coupon or if you want to do another join the community, it really depends on you. Uh, you have to put a call to action button URL if you want this to link to something. For me, I don't, I don't care if it links to something. I just want them to see the coupon, the five percent off. Um, brand logos. So these, are, these are just the brand logos at the bottom. Okay, you can just leave it as it is. Um, no reason to change it. I'll be honest. Home. Now home, for me. Uh, first of all, you have to understand that the home isn't that um, important. A lot of people want to just put all their products in the home section, and I don't think you should do that. It just doesn't look good. The home needs to be a very simple page um, showing a cool banner, showing the testimonials, and maybe a collection or two. That's it. Okay, don't think that if you don't have your, all your products on your home page, that it's not, gonna, that it's not good. The, uh, I think the opposite, especially for, first of all, that people don't really get through your home page. When we send ads, we send them directly to the product. Okay, so people don't even visit your homepage. They might scroll around and go through your homepage, but they don't get directly to your homepage. So what I like to do, I like to just put a collection or two in the homepage. So for that, I just use the collection carousel. Okay, so I have the turtle collection, for example, and I'll put turtle, and then I'll want a camping collection. So I'll use uh, that, and then I'll click the camping, camping one. That should give me another collection. Okay, very, very cool, very sleek. Um, or you can just write best-selling items and then create a collection for best-selling items and then use that. Uh, it doesn't really matter as long as you have something that, that, that your homepage represents about the store. Don't think about pushing all your products there. I don't believe in that. Um, other than that, I haven't used these other things because, I, again, I don't see a lot of these things necessary. I like to keep it basic. Okay, I don't like, uh, I don't like making the customer feel that he's missing out on a lot, a lot of things. I like it when everything is handed to him. Uh, that's the whole collection sidebar. Mm -mm -mm. This one, I don't use the collection sidebar, I'll be honest, because it doesn't look good, um, in my opinion, on, uh, on mobile and on desktop. I just like 
and it takes away from the space of the images. I like the images to be big, to be big and beautiful, especially on mobile. So I just keep it as it is. Um, product global settings. So if we check out a product here, by the way, this is this is a real strength of the of the theme, is that um, when you click the add to cart button, what happens is that it not, it not only adds the product to cart, but it actually asks them if they wanna enter the shipping address. So basically, first of all, it's less intimidating than checkout, and second of all, if they click this button, they directly they are directed all the way to the checkout page, skipping the cart page. Of course, if they like, they can always click the view cart button and then be directed to the cart or continue shopping or just stay on the page and go over, maybe check out some more related items. Okay, so that's the strength of the theme. Okay, to really be optimized for purchases. When somebody just wants to buy a product, he just clicks the add to cart button and then boom, he goes, uh, enter shipping address, he is already at the checkout. And on mobile, it looks really, 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 really good, especially because the button is the first button. It's, it's literally the first thing that they see um, the, before the description. So that way we, we want them to, if they want to buy, they'll immediately buy. Okay, we don't want to make them think too much or scroll through too much. We want the button to be first thing that they notice. That's why this is the first thing that they'll notice. Um, mm -mm. Product, so yeah, okay, so this is, so here you can change the available for a limited time to again, whatever you want. Use coupon code first time five to get 5% off. Whatever you want, you can write that down here. Uh, we donate one dollar for every twenty dollars spent to um, save the kids' charity. Whatever, whatever you think of putting, um, you can put. It's really, really good that they see this literally next to the button. Um, let's see what else. Okay, so that's it for the product global settings. Now the product template is where you're gonna change this shipping and this returns. Okay, so the product description is where what you change in the actual product page of the products in your Shopify and your Shopify dashboard. So it's dynamic. Shipping and it turns to static. You change it here and it will be changed forever. So shipping, you write down here what you want what you want to write for shipping, depending on your shipping policy. Returns, same thing. Um, now it's really important that you change the returns here. And if you want to put an email, it's really important that you change this email here. I'm actually gonna um, erase that so if you get the theme uh, you won't have that but if you already have the theme and you're, you're, you have it like this it's really important to change it because it doesn't look good like I said that the email isn't your actual store email so you want to make sure that the emails are changed to your emails you can add another tab if you want um, if you want like materials or something you can add another tab and then write down the materials I don't use that I use product description shipping and returns Cards. Uh, now the card is really important that you change to um, to your actual. Uh, wait, that's not here. Sorry, that's in the checkout. Checkout. Same thing. You want to change the logo to being your store logo. This is what they see at the checkout page. Okay. So again, it will be this logo. So it's important that you change it to your own logo. Okay, really important because it's gonna be pretty funny if they go to the checkout and then they see a totally different logo. So you wanna do that. Um, I don't deal with the background image. You can play with the position. Some background, 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 background. And that's it, maybe changing the buttons if, if that's something that interests you. Um, cart, okay, so the cart is basically, you have this cool image which you don't see here, but I'll show you. So you have this cool image that you can change, okay? You can change this, I'll show you in a second how you can change that. But uh, you know, if you wanna change the colors, you wanna put something else, this is what they see in the cart, okay? So if I um, put a desktop like this, you see that um, it's actually here on the left. And in mobile, look, it's, uh, it's on the top, right, the first thing that they see. And you can change that here so if you click here, replace, that will change this to whatever you want. Um, other than that, have it experienced, experimented with this here. So you can check that. Um, yeah, that, that's basically it, guys. Um, this is the main structure that I use for my story. I've never had any troubles using it like it, like, like this. 
and I recommend you follow this structure and not try to overcomplicate things and add many things. I know there might be a little some uh, some issues um, for the more advanced advanced uh, options. Like I said, I don't use a lot of the options. I use the basic structure, and I suggest that you use the basic structure as well because a customer goes into the store, he sees the product. Okay, he sees the product usually comes from mobile, as some of you might know. And what's important is that he can be able to buy the product instantly or go directly to the checkout, okay? And that the website looks professional. Other than that, everything else doesn't really matter. It's really important that you keep everything simple and this way it's as simple as possible with the join the community, with the register, everything is really professional, directed towards um, having the customer, uh, directly towards having the customer eventually going in with nothing and going out with um, a product. Uh, let's see if I forgot anything else. Mm -mm -mm. So uh, another thing, um, if, like I said, I talked about it before, but if you want to change uh, the favicon, and for example, if you want to change this, then it's really simple. You will just go to edit code, which is the HTML um, of the theme and you're going to assets and you'll want to go to the favicon which is this one okay you want to change that so to change it you just need to get an image which is 32 by 32 pixels okay 32 by 32 and change the extension to .ico okay and call it, call it favicon.ico delete this okay and then just add your uh, your own image to the assets by just clicking here and add a new asset and you'll have uh, your favicon will work for you. Um, other than that, you need to change uh, the the one, uh, the picture below the add to cart, which is the payment gateways and the symbols, you go to the choose us .jpg. Um I, I gave it a little test, so I, I doodled it on it a bit, but it's really, really simple to change this. So if you want to change the colors or something, you just save it and then, uh, or you just take another picture and you delete this, the choose us.jpg. You call your own file choose us.jpg. Uh, so don't forget choose lower lower line like that, uh, us.jpg. And you just upload that asset and that should work for you. Okay, other than that, uh, that's like the basic structure of the theme that has worked for me dozens of times, for my students dozens of times. All the results that you've seen were made through this theme. Um, well, I won't say all of them, but uh, most of them. And just so you know, the, the theme doesn't play a huge role in your success. Uh, you can use this theme if you like it. If you do not like it, you can use another theme. You'll still be successful with the strategies learned from the program. Okay, I use, these, I use this theme, my students use this theme. The structure is built to be optimized for purchases and it's been working really, really, really well. Um, other than that, guys, uh, if you have any more um, issues, and it's part of the advanced, if it's part of the other things that I didn't go over here today, I just recommend that you don't use it. Uh, one, because there's no reason, there's literally no reason to use it, because the basic structure of what I showed you now is what I use and what I what brought me to my success. And as you can see, the theme uh, as it is works really, really, um, really, really well if you just go over the basic structure of having the product page look good, of having like, the testimonials, the collection on the page, that's enough to bring you to insane success because that's what, uh, that's what it's all about, guys. This is what it's all about, having it uh, built basic and simple to get the customer come, to come in with nothing and eventually go out with a product. Uh, sorry that, you, that there are some things that, uh, issues that you might have had before, but I'm sure with, uh, with this uh, guide, you're, you should fix um, all your issues. And that's it, guys. That's it for now. And like I said, if you use it and if you don't use it, it doesn't matter. You will be successful. The theme plays such, such a small role in the actual store. The main thing that's important in the store is, of course, how the store looks. But you can make a store look amazing no matter what theme you use. Until next time, guys. Bye-bye.